Well, hello everybody, it's Pastor Ashley, and I am here again with this week's Lectio Divina. And this week, it just felt really appropriate to do a psalm. And the lectionary actually for this coming Sunday has Psalm 66, which is a really beautiful, complex psalm uh, that we're going to listen to three times, as is uh, our custom here with Lectio Divina. And I want to point out before we begin, because these Lectio Divinas, they're, they're these times to really dig deep into these passages. And Psalms are really amazing and important because they are the honest expression of the people of God. They carry with them all kinds of emotions, all kinds of wrestling with questions that are as old as humanity. And I think we're working through a lot of those questions even now. And so you'll hear in, in the Psalm, uh, remembering the past, remembering what God's faithful was, faithfulness was then, but also struggling with how do we understand God's faithfulness in the midst of changing times or things that were painful or difficult. And I love Psalms for that reason. There's a really great uh, book I read in seminary from uh, Walter Brueggemann, Old Testament scholar, uh, called um, From Whom No Secrets Are Hid, talking about uh, the Psalms. And so they are the full expression of our experience. And what's interesting about when you're reading them is um, they a lot of times have theological claims that we can take and we can really dig deep, but sometimes they're just pure expression. They're just people of God expressing what they could, giving the thoughts that they, they had at the time. And so they're really raw a lot of the time, which I, I appreciate. So I hope this Psalm blesses you. I'm going to read it three times as usual. And I invite us as we get ready uh, to just spend some time with this psalm together to take a deep breath <sighs> and to take time to notice the presence of God around us wherever we are, that God is here. God listens to us just as surely as God listens to the psalmist uh, as much as um, a, a thought is in our head, is in our heart. God knows it and knows us completely. And so let us come to God with this psalm today. But first, let's take a moment. Just be with God. Um, ask the Holy Spirit to uh, be with you in this reading. Um, and ask what God might be saying to you through it as we take just a couple moments uh, before we begin our first reading. Psalm 66, to the leader, a song, a psalm. Make a joyful noise to God, all the earth. Sing the glory of his name. Give to him glorious praise. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Because of your great power, your enemies cringe before you. All the earth worships you. They sing praises to you. Sing praises to your name, Selah. Come and see what God has done. God is awesome in his deeds among mortals. He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the river on foot. 
There we rejoiced in him, who rules by his might forever, whose eyes keep watch on the nations. Let the rebellious not exalt themselves. Selah. Bless our God, O peoples. Let the sound of his praise be heard, who has kept us among the living and has not let our feet slip. For you, O God, have tested us. You have tried us as silver is tried. You brought us into the net. You laid burdens on our backs. You let people ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water. Yet you have brought us out to a spacious place. I will come into your house with burnt offerings. I will pay my vows, those that my lips uttered and my mouth promised when I was in trouble. I will offer to you burnt offerings of fatlings with the smoke of the sacrifice of rams. I will make an offering of bulls and goats. Selah. Come and hear all you who fear God, and I will tell you what he has done for me. I cried aloud to him, and he was extolled with my tongue. If I had cherished iniquity in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. But truly God has listened. He has given heed to the words of my prayer. Blessed be God, because he has not rejected my prayer or removed his steadfast love from me. Let's take just a couple of moments to sit with that psalm. What is happening? Get a, a large picture of what's going on. To the leader, a song, a psalm. Make a joyful noise to God, all the earth. Sing the glory of his name. Give to him glorious praise. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Because of your great power, your enemies cringe before you. All the earth worships you. They sing praises to you. Sing praises to your name. Selah. Come and see what God has done. He is awesome in his deeds among mortals. He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the river on foot. There we rejoiced in him, whose rules by his, who rules by his might forever, whose eyes kept, keep watch on the nations. Let the rebellious not exalt themselves. Selah. Bless our God, O peoples, let the sound of his praise be heard, who has kept us among the living and has not let our feet slip. For you, O God, have tested us. You have tried us as silver is tried. You brought us into the net. You laid burdens on our backs. You let people ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water. Yet you have brought us out to a spacious place. I will come into your house with burnt offerings. I will pay you my vows and those that my lips uttered and my mouth promised when I was in trouble. I will offer to you burnt offerings of fatlings with the smoke of the sacrifice of rams. I will make an offering of bulls and goats. Selah. Come and hear all you who fear God, and I will tell you what he has done for me. 
I cried aloud to him, and he was extolled with my tongue. If I had cherished iniquity in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. But truly, God has listened. He has given heed to the words of my prayer. Blessed be God, because he has not rejected my prayer, nor removed his steadfast love from me. Take a couple of moments and think about a particular phrase or image or word that is standing out. And just focus on that. Pray through it. Ask God what God is showing to you about that image or, or why that's standing out to you. final reading of Psalm 66. I invite you to just rest as the words wash over you. And we'll take some time after it in a couple of moments just to lift up any final prayers to God about things that you've heard, things that resonated with you that this psalmist was lifting. May it be a blessing to you as, as we read this, this third time. Psalm 66, to the leader, a song, a psalm. Make a joyful noise to, the, to God, all the earth. Sing the glory of his name. Give to him glorious praise. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Because of your great power, your enemies cringe before you. All the earth worships you. They sing praises to you. Sing praises to your name, Selah. Come and see what God has done. He is awesome in his deeds among mortals. He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the river on foot. There we rejoiced in him, who rules by his might forever, whose eyes keep watch on the nations. Let the rebellious not exalt themselves, Selah. Bless our God, O peoples. Let the sound of his praise be heard, who has kept us among the living and has not let our feet slip. For you, O God, have tested us. You have tried us as silver is tried. You brought us into the net. You laid burdens on our backs. You let people ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water. Yet you have brought us out to a spacious place. I will come into your house with burnt offerings. I will pay you my vows, those that my lips uttered and my mouth promised when I was in trouble. I will offer to you burnt offerings of fatlings with the smoke of the sacrifice of rams. I will make an offering of bulls and goats. Selah. Come and hear, all you who fear God, and I will tell what he has done for me. I cried aloud to him, and he was extolled with my tongue. 
If I had cherished iniquity in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. But truly God has listened. He has given heed to the words of my prayer. Blessed be God, because God has not rejected my prayer, nor removed his steadfast love from me. God, thank you for this psalm. Thank you that the voices of the people of God, the praises, the difficult conversations, the hard questions, the truth about uh, being refined like silver, and also the truth that you are with us, that there is nothing that separates, can ever separate you from us. All of those truths, all of those feelings, all of the things that we bring you from the depths of our hearts, our minds, our spirits. God, that we see them in scripture, that they are um, sacred as we offer them to you, as you are enthroned on our praises, if we come to you with these, the purity of our hearts and the um, honesty of what we're going through. And so we lift all of our thoughts, all of the ways we are reaching out to you, all the ways we're lamenting, all the ways we are rejoicing. We lift all of these, our praises, up to you. And we ask that you would hold us, you would keep us in the assurance of your presence, of your goodness, that you are hearing us, you are listening, and you are with us even as we are refined like silver, even as we are passing through fire and through water. We are yours. And that is the greatest gift we could ever, ever ask for. We are yours and you go before, behind, above, below, and within us. So we give you thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <sighs> amen and amen. I pray that you would go in peace and that God's presence around you would lead you this day through fire, through water, through green pastures, however this day finds you. Amen.